What up lovelies? Welcome to my channel here at Gallivants and Rants. My name is Desiree and today we have update number six. It is going to be one video but it's going to have two parts to it. In this first part, I want to answer a few questions. So to kick things off, in case you don't know, I am headed to Central America in whoop, number of days. I just wanted to talk about why Central America? Why did I decide on Central America as the destination that I wanted to go to? And there are a few reasons. Number one, it is really close to my home state of Florida. I've traveled extensively on my own, but it's always been here in the States. Um, every time I've gone outside of the US, I've always been either with a group of people or um, like in the instance of the Bahamas, I was going to meet uh, several friends of mine when I got to the destination. So this adventure is quite a bit different for me and I don't know how I will react to it. I don't know how long it will take me to kind of get into a flow. I might get there and discovered that I absolutely hate traveling in this manner. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but just in case it does, um, I want to have that easy access to get back home. Reason number two is that I currently don't have the ability to save a lot of money. I was shooting for a goal of $6,000 and I'll get more into expenses and savings in part two of this video, but I don't think that I'm going to completely reach that goal. So I needed somewhere that is going to be really cheap where my dollar is going to go a long ways where I'm able to have cheap accommodation where I can get meals from two to five dollars because since my goal is to stay gone for at least six months or as long as possible I need that money to be able to stretch now hopefully I my goal is to make this a career to make this something that I can make money from and in the long run I would like to go to places that aren't as cheap. I know a lot of travel vloggers and bloggers go to Southeast Asia and that it's just as cheap there as Central America if not just a little bit cheaper but I didn't want to take that same route. I feel like that is the beaten path. And number three is that I just really want a slower pace of life. I just want to be in a place where people are chill, where people enjoy having face-to-face -face interactions. You know, people aren't in such a rush. So those are kind of the top three reasons why I chose Central America versus anywhere else. So question number two, why this journey? So I'm really interested in learning about life and the perspective of life outside of the US. I know all too well what it is like to live inside the belly of the beast. I mean, I occupied a few blocks away from Wall Street. You know, I've been in the trenches of Washington DC. I know what that evil looks like. I'm interested in what the effects are on other people outside of the United States. I've seen and I've experienced the effects that the United States can have on people inside of its borders and I'm really curious as to meeting people and seeing what their perspective of the United States is and seeing how the laws and foreign policy of the US has affected them and their lives. Reason number two is I really want to challenge myself. Um, can I film, edit, upload on a schedule? Can I hustle harder than I ever have before? Can I make this lifestyle happen? You know, it's not going to come easy. If I'm really honest, I'm inherently like a lazy person. I like being active, but I like being active on my own terms. I don't like having obligations. I don't like being required to do anything or to answer to some type of authority. So this lifestyle can both work for me and be amazing, um, but it is also going to be a challenge because I want to get outside of this comfort zone that I'm in. I do not want to return to a traditional work environment, at least not here in the United States. So yeah, I guess that's kind of the the next point is just to live a non-traditional lifestyle. And so yeah, I'm really intrigued by the thought of, God, this is annoying. I, I'm even looking up and it's still falling down. Maybe we'll just 
just leave it where it's at. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really intrigued by the possibility of living differently, continuing to live differently. One of the last things, uh, and certainly these are not in any particular order, is that I'm really interested in what resistance looks like in other countries. I'm really interested in learning about their history of, you know, colonialism and independence. Who have been the rebels? Who have been the fighters? Who's fighting back now? Because I know that our struggles are connected. They're connected all over the world. And I'm just interested in documenting people's stories. So with all of that being said, let's wrap this up. I think it's about 96 degrees out here right now. It's July in Florida and I'm sweating profusely. Uh, let's get on with part two of this uh, video. And I'm gonna go inside for this, thankfully. All right. And welcome to part two of update number six. I'm going to show you some of the items that I have gotten for my trip. And to start off, the number one most important thing is the new backpack that I have. If you haven't seen the REI video that I posted, I will insert the video here of me getting fitted for my bag, as well as trying on and getting all of the adjustments made for this bag that I have right here. Desi's gonna fit it for her packs for when she hikes through Central America. So Desi, how does your pack feel? It feels great. I just got fitted and all the adjustments made correctly. Let me see at the back. So this is it. It is an REI bag and it is a 65 liter bag. I had done a lot of research and I had seen where a lot of people said that one of the things that they would have done differently is gotten a bag that opened from both the top and the bottom, which this one does. I'll just start from the top. It has a top zipper section uh, up here underneath the lid. It also has a another zipper pouch with mesh lining. So then we have plenty of space for all of my clothing. I will have some hiking boots that will be down in here. So then in the front, I have a space for, you know, where I can put stuff. There's also an opening here at the bottom where I can get to my stuff. There's also a section that is ready for a ladder if I wanted to insert one. It does not come with the bag, but if I wanted to purchase one separately, I can put a ladder of water in there. Also, this bag comes with a rain cover, which will definitely be necessary because I am going down into Central America during the uh, wetter months of the year. So moving on to my day bag, I got this uh, turquoise Magellan Outdoors bag you can see. Um, it's got side pockets here for water bottles on either side. Um, it's got a little, you know, tiny uh, place here, which would be good for the vlogging camera. And we have a middle pouch as well that has a nice little small section for, you know, travel documents, anything in there. And then we also have the main compartment. This bag does come with a bladder pack already installed. It's very important where I am going in Central America, all through Central America and a lot of other countries as well, that we do not drink the tap water. We consistently have to drink bottled water. Um, so I would get bottled water to fill this up or purified water. Otherwise, it can make us really, um, really ill because we're not used to water in that section of the world. You know, a lot of people, they're very meticulous about the water itself, but they forget about ice cubes or juice, other, you know, drinks uh, that can be assembled with water. So just a couple of tips to be careful about um, if you are in a country where you shouldn't drink the water out of the tap. Make sure you're aware of everything that you are consuming and make sure that if it is inside of a drink that you ask if the water is purified or not. Those are the two larger items aside from this beauty that I have an unveiling of in one of my previous updates. Uh, so I will link that down below. I actually link all of the updates down below in case you're curious as to the journey of where I started and where I am now. All right, so moving on to smaller objects. This is a BPA free stainless steel construction uh, 24 ounce water bottle from Under Armour. Focus, there we go. I have gotten packing cubes. They are from a brand, it's a uh, Rusoji, R-U-S-O-J-I. None of these products I can actually 
recommend just yet. I haven't used any of them. Um, they're all brand new and I won't find out if they're durable or if they are long lasting and they work uh, sufficiently until obviously I've been on the road for a little while and I can see what they're like. Uh, so these I just found on Amazon. I love the color purple so that's kind of the number one reason that I purchased them. Also there are three of them here but they're uh, they came in a six pack, so there's two of each size. So I also got this uh, stainless steel silverware set. It is nice to just be able to use the same utensils just to wash them. It's better for the environment if you have stainless steel um, silverware. I purchased an adapter. I don't think I'll actually need this for Central America, I believe. Um, in my research, I think that they have the same plugs that we do here in the US. So I don't think I'll need this, but just in case, um, I have it with me as well as if I continue on after Central America and I don't come back for a while I'll have this already. Obviously if I'm going to Central America and I am an avid swimmer I love the beach and the water and everything about it. I'm going to be doing a lot of snorkeling and swimming. All of the snorkel sets that I saw had the really big masks that went with it and I didn't want that. I just wanted regular goggles for the eyes. This is Aquasphere. Absolute necessity is a microfiber towel. Now, I've never used one of these before, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers who have done extensive videos about them. It's so easy and convenient. They can be used for a lot of things, and they dry super fast. I am planning on doing uh, quite a bit of hiking. I'm not sure where, and I'm not sure you know the altitude of where it is that I'll be going, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers mention and recommend merino wool socks. So these are uh, Merino Lightweight Hiking Quarter Socks. It helps to regulate the temperature and resist odor as well. I also wanted to talk very briefly about how much it is that I have been able to save. Now, my original goal was $6,000. And since I wanted to travel for approximately six months, this gave me a breakdown of about $1,000 per month. Now, unfortunately, because of such circumstances as having to pay taxes last year, and unfortunate but fortunate circumstances, where I purchased my laptop and this new vlogging camera and a few other things for the trip that I needed, I don't think that I'm going to be able to hit that $6,000 goal. So then my new goal had become to have $4,000 in the bank and have $2,000 available on my credit card. Unfortunately, I still don't think that I'm going to be able to hit that goal. I don't know what I will actually be able to reach. Currently, I have $1,800 saved in the bank and I have uh, approximately $800 available on my credit card. Uh, but I'm going to get as close to it as possible and to just make my money stretch as long as I can, uh, just try to be very diligent in what it is that I spend, what activities that I do, how much food that I'm eating. It is going to be a challenge for me. I really love food. Some of us do, a lot of us do. Food is a thing, especially when you're traveling to try all of these new uh, types of cuisines, but just, you know, in moderation. Also, big announcement. I now have a blog to go along with my YouTube channel and all of my social medias. It is www.gallivantsandrants.com. Please check it out. So I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching update number six. Like I said, I will leave the links to the previous updates in the description below. You know the drill by now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue with me on all of my gallivanting adventures and see what it's like in Central America, mash that subscribe button. We are at 50 subscribers. Let's get that up. Let's build a community. Please, if you have anything to say, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until the next video, I leave you with revolutionary love becoming more and more of one. Okay, wow. God damn it. Where did you go? Did you fly back out? Huh, oh, there's a wasp in my car. That's wonderful. All right, real quick before a bird flies in. Uh, stainless steel utensil net. Net? What the fuck?